Our today's crime story is about the serial murders which kept one of the most peaceful Indian city Poon scared for 14 months. Poon was famous for its peaceful and friendly environment from the very beginning, but its peacefulness had been shattered suddenly for 14 months during 1976 and 1977. The whole city which used to be crowded till late nights, was suddenly started to close early in the evening, and people were so scared of the terror that they were avoiding to go out of their homes after evening. And the Indian police were feeling helpless, to tap the continuous murders in the city. When the authorities realized that the local police is completely unable to catch the serial killer, they decided to call the Indian Armed Forces to protect the lives of people from the serial murderers. As usual the local police did not pay attention to the first murder of these serial murders and it became a bomb when the serial killers murder three people in a bonlo. The serial killer this time killed a couple and their son. This becomes the headline of local news channels and the city was trapped in fear. The helplessness of the police authorities increased the tension and everybody in the city was feeling insecure. The serial killers were four students of commercial art, Rajendra Jakal, Philip Sutra, Shantram Kanhaji Jagtap, and Muna Warharan Shah. This case was known as the Joshi Abiyankar serial murders were ten murders committed by these four commercial art students. Joshi and Abiyankar are the names of two victim families. This group of the four students had acquired a poor reputation on their college campus for robbery and drinking, and was reportedly fighting within and outside the college campus. This was the fact that all of them were belonged to poor families, and always faced problems regarding money. Their parents were extremely unable to fulfill their luxurious demands, which led them to crime world. All of them were unable to get rid of their bad habits and they decided to earn money to fulfill these unnecessary demands at any cost and kidnapped one of their classmate, Prakash Hagen. He was a classmate of the serial killers at Abhinav Institute. His father, Sundar Hagen, was owner of a small restaurant near the institute. Suhas Chandak picked up Prakash on a false pretense and took him to Jackal's tin shed on Carve Road. They forced him to write a note to his father saying that he was leaving home. They gagged him, took him to Pesh Park, which is just meters from Hotel Vishwa. There they strangled him with a nylon rope, placed his body in an iron barrel, inserted some stones and dumped the barrel into the park lake. The next day, they sent the ransom note to his father. His father went to the police station and the local police ignored this case. Then the gang of four students moved to the city of Kolhapur. In Kolhapur they tried to rob the house of a businessman but were unsuccessful, due to high security at house, and returned back to Pune. This time the serial killer gang selected a soft target, a house without security. They successfully entered in the house and they found Mr. Akit Joshi and his wife Asha Joshi alone in the house. The serial killer gang strangled Joshi with nylon rope and suffocated his wife. When Anand the son of Joshi arrived in the house they forcefully stripped him naked and strangled him with the same nylon rope. The serial killer gang stole the valuables from the house. Within a period of one month they attempted to rob another bungalow, but the owner and the servants fight back and the serial killer gang escaped easily by climbing a barbed wire fence. During these the whole city was scared and the insecurity element among the residents of Poon was at top. Nobody was visiting the night cinemas and the people were vanished from the streets of Poon City. After the unsuccessful attempt the serial killer gang struck again in the city. This time they selected a house of a professor, Mr. Shastri Abhiankram. There were five people in the house, his wife, his granddaughter, grandson and the house servant. This time again the serial killer gang killed all of them with a nylon rope. The granddaughter was stripped naked and forced to direct them to the valuables in the house before she was killed. Anil Gokhale was the younger brother of a college friend, Jayant Gokhale. 
Anil was supposed to meet his brother at the Alka Talkies and was offered a ride home by Jack on his motorcycle. He was taken to Jackal's shed, and strangled with a nylon rope. His body was tied to an iron ladder, weighed down with boulders and dumped into the Mula Matha River near Bund Garden. The body Anil Gokhale the last victim, surfaced near Yerwada. The investigating police team found the body and realized the murder pattern, they found the nylon rope, as the police were considering the continuous murders as a result of robberies, but they now realized that they are actually following a serial killer gang. The police this time put their best to prevent more murders. The police trapped the serial killer gang finally. During interrogations all of the members of serial killer gang contradicted each other's statements, and finally reveal the whole story of crime spree. The police filed charge sheet in the court and within a period of four months all the members of the serial killer gang were sentenced to death by the Indian courts. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more crime investigation documentaries. Thank you for watching this video.